and I've been observing the financial markets for over 10 years. In the past four years, observing EURUSD, I've implemented these three processes that have allowed me to excel and succeed within these financial markets. In today's video, we're gonna cover these in detail and I'm gonna pass over to you what has helped me achieve success. What is observation? Observation is a method of collecting primary data. Observation is defined by a systematic or selective and purposeful way of watching or examining and even listening to what is happening in your natural setting. And what we wanna do is document that. We want to use observation as a method of collecting data. This data collection process will help us study, understand the ongoing processes and behavior of price. When I think of observation and how it's impacted me to help me better understand each move, the phases of the move, is price moving slow, is price moving fast? Now, am I following this? Am I confused? Do I feel any emotions? Of what's currently happening in price? It's these neutral observations and it's documenting the answers to these observations that will help us build self-esteem, self-confidence and understanding. We realize that through observation, we build an understanding. So all I need to do when I approach the charts is have an intention. That intention is going to be my primary driver of observation. And this is what we're going to get into now. We can see a one minute chart on EURUSD. And what we can do is observe how this price is delivered. Now. Yes, you're going to have your approach. You're going to have the way that you currently see the market. But when we're observing, we want to step outside of ourselves and be neutral within our understanding. And that brings us to range initiation. It's through these understandings that price can move sideways. And that price can move with initiation, with intention. Helps me break down this observation that I'm seeing on the chart. This is a neutral exercise. This is a neutral observation. And what this will allow me to do is build an understanding of how price delivers and also how I can be a participant in that delivery. So let's get started with this observation. Range initiation, this is our focus. In my session, I want to become aware of ranges. Here we can see we do have a representation of a range. That's understandable. In the moment, I will see that price is failing to make higher highs and lower lows and actually is being contained within sideways delivery. This is an observation. This is a way to collect that primary data. From here, what do we see? We see a phase of initiation. Now we can go and highlight from that high all the way to the low where we saw price initiate. We got range initiation. Once again, this observation is helping us build an understanding of how EU delivers and the characteristics of that. Let's continue. We then have another range being presented at the bottom of that initiation. You can see we have a representation of sideways delivery. And once again, we have that representation of price creating a high in the market, creating a low in the market through that phase of initiation. Going down into the low of this initiation, you can see that price started to range and then we got initiation out the range. Continuing with the observations, we can see that price continued in that sideways delivery after that initiation to the upside, we see that price came down, price came up, and price came down. And we can see that with that observation over time, price hasn't changed its state. So observation needs intention. What are we gathering? What are we searching for? We need to know. We can't just observe everything on the chart, but we can. But that is going to delay your route to success. What we always recommend to our new traders is to focus on ranges and initiations. It's in these observations that will lead to understanding and that will build that trader's self-esteem, their understanding, their confidence in reading the correct market intention. So now we know what observation is. We have an understanding of what observation can look like. We can move on to execution. Execution is all about the process to entry, the steps we utilize to be able to click, buy or sell. It's very important that execution has a process to your entry. This should be repeatable, it should be understandable, and we can call this your model. A trader can have more than one entry process. The main importance here is to keep that process repeatable. It must follow a repeatable process that leads you to the same decision. The route from understanding, observation, into execution, being a participant of the trade, it should be the same. We don't want a process that might look like this, 
another process might look like this. We need to have a repeatable process that you are executing within your session. These are the same. These are different. We need to become observers of what these are. Within NJT, this is what we give you. We give you this part of that repeated process. We know our entries are typically going to come from ranges. And we know that process of range initiation, price pulling back into that range, is allowing us to have a repeatable process to get involved and execute sell positions. So now we can start thinking about execution. We can see we can utilize that repeatable process of range initiation, mitigation, continuation to be able to execute in a repeatable way. What is that execution? That execution is price pulling back into our previous range for that M mitigation. And then we're looking to play that C continuation into lower prices. So what can we see on our chart? We have a range here that has not pulled back. So it hasn't presented any opportunities for us to implement our repeatable understanding. So we continue to follow price. As we can see, as we went over, price did then start to range in low prices. And then we started to see that initiation out of the range. Once price starts to pull back, we know that we have our range initiation, mitigation, continuation process. So when price starts to pull back into that range, we can assume around 50%. Our stop is going above the previous high, just like it would do every single time, the high of the range. This is our anticipation that price is going to mitigate and continue. Looking at that execution, we can place our stop above the high, we can place our entry inside of the range, and then we can seek to take profits in that continuation. This is a repeatable process. This is something that you can implement time and time again. This will help you build on your observations, on your executions, and more importantly, build your confidence. As we saw, we'd start moving into lower prices, and we can understand that that is a process of execution. Now on the other side, a repeatable process where we have range initiation, price pulling back into that point of mitigation. So we could have also looked for a position at this location with our once again, stop below the low of the range, our position inside of the range, and then looking to take profits in that continuation. So we can see here just by applying two observations and then moving into a phase of execution, knowing how we move into execution, that repeatable process, it means then we can implement on our understanding. We can be a participant of what we understand. And it's so important to complete the process. There are three steps and we must complete every step in order to make a transformational progression within our career. Now, as we know, with observation, we're not bothered about being correct. We're bothered about observing. So once I execute my position, I go back into observation to understand how price is delivering. So what can we see here? We can see in the moment of being triggered into this trade, price then starts to move in that bearish direction. How is price doing that? We can see that through phases of range initiation. We can also see over time that price is failing to move outside of the previous high and previous low. So we can clearly see that now price is contained. Once again, these are the same observations we utilize to get into the execution. We are using repeatable processes we can implement all the time and not some of the time. This is going to help us build that understanding price continues to range and after arranging price i would expect to see that initiation what we do see in the market is price then initiates to the downside and then we can seek to take profits below that previous low in that continuation if we was long hopefully we'll have processes within our observations that will allow us to at least take a break even on this correct observation now the final part of this process is hindsight today we've gone over this chart while seeing what has already happened. This was Friday the 12th of April, and what we've done is go back over the chart. The correct version of observation is watching price in the moment. When we're utilizing hindsight, it should have one perspective only. Hindsight is going back over that delivery that you've observed live. So let's say that I have been a part of both of these trades, and I've seen one trade play out, a continuation, and I see the other side not play out for continuation. What does this mean? What can I gather from this? And what should I utilize from this information? Is today going to give you all the answers that you need in order to improve? Or do you think that hindsight over time, hindsight after your session and dedicating a hindsight session to go back over your observations is going to lead to an impact within your skill? Of course it will. 
let's say we have been a part of both of these observations, these repeatable executions, and price has created lower prices. What I'd want to understand is, was there a reason for not participating in this long? Should I look for opposite only? Or should I be on both sides of the market? And typically, the information that's going to help you understand is by zooming out of your timeframes and understanding the location of where this delivery happened. This is hindsight, and this is how we can utilize that three-stage process to improve your skill. If you implement this process into your trading sessions, observation, execution, hindsight, these three phases will transform you this year into being a highly skilled trader 